hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Ali today I will show you how you can track frust loss or how you can uh, like track defrustration area in your study area so in this case I am going to use Kashmir Pakistan as an example so I will track the frust loss cover so first of all what I will do I will apply it th uh, NDVI thresholding and in which uh, I will calculate NDVI and use a threshold on the on this index to identify first cover okay and so uh, lower NDVI uh, indicates like less vegetation and threshold is likely set to identify area with relatively high NDVI values so uh, here you can see first of all I loaded all the land sites and then I selected my study area where I filtered uh, filtered uh, cities or uh, fresh areas over here in Pakistan Kashmir so you can see that I loaded and uh, I filtered in your case you can just simply add your shape file so in my case that line geography GIS RS with AI is actually my study area and I filtered with new name the specific study area that I want to filter or want to use so uh, then I took uh, another variable storm war in Gaza so here you can see that the list 20, 28 elements are there in my shape file so I'm just going to load one or I will in, in this example I will I will use two areas <coughs> Sorry. and then I will calculate fresh area for each year and I will present a time series chart and I will show you a decreasing trend in forest area over time would be uh, that would be a like indicative of deforestation so so here you can see that uh, <coughs> I loaded uh, centroid uh, to get the center objects then here's the main thing that I'm going to apply function like Pakistan 1 2 3 and Pakistan 45 like these are two handle processing for uh, landshed collections before and after 2013 and respectively what I will do actually I will perform cloud masking masking and apply band scaling specific to the sensor by utilizing this function so you know that uh, uh, Landsat have two sensors mainly like uh, TM and OLI which is actually a thematic map and uh, operational land imager so here what I did like Pakistani handsome uh, handsome Pakistani sensor 1 and handsome Pakistani sensor 2 actually these are the like two sensors of Landsats like thematic mapper and operational land imager so I utilized uh, these uh, uh, to get uh, to like mass cloud and different things so you can see over here in code that how I utilize this and I multiplied by the scale value that I got from the landshed property and I applied the uh, cloud, uh, cloud masking techniques over here by using this and then I selected the band ridges you can see uh, in the code okay So after that, uh, I, so after doing that, after cloud masking, so the main step, the next step is, I will apply loop through each year, like from 1992 to 2020, where I will filter land based, um, and I will uh, extract specific bands. For example, I will calculate NDVI on which actually this analysis is based on. This analysis is actually based on NDVI thresholding so where i will set like 0 0.7 or 0 0.6 uh, to to get our fresh area so in your case you can like just select uh, uh, greater than or greater than or equals to or lesser lesser than or equals to so it's up to you how you uh, like set your threshold values so uh, you can like select when when i will show you code i will explain there that where you can set gt or gte or lt or lte so actually the, this is the threshold value here i am showing you like you can see variable fresh where the subza dot gt actually gt means greater than here if you write type greater than or equals to it means uh, 0 0.7 greater than 0 0.7 or equals to 0 0.7 for example if you type here LTE it means lesser than 0 0.7 or if you uh, type like LTE lesser than 0 0.7 or equals to 0 0.7 so via this way you can select uh, uh, the threshold values 
so here you can see after applying blue peers for each year and uh, representing each year then i applied forest cover maps and i generated forest cover maps for the entire period like 1990 to uh, 2020 uh, ba based on the maximum forest probability from each year and on the based of this probability then we will generate our uh, final uh, like uh, chart and we will create a uh, appealing uh, uh, legend so here you can see then then you can see i also applied some scaling factor to handle the data for a bit uh, larger area the, uh, here in code you can uh, see uh, that uh, how i loaded all the things and then simply as I explained, I got the forest cover maps on the forest probability uh, on the basis of like maximum forest probability. So via this way, you can get your forest loss or you can uh, track forest loss cover in your study area and you can select the values uh, accordingly. So here you can see the visibility parameters where I selected visibility and stop var in Gaza is actually my subunit that I'm using here. In this example, I'm using uh, Badarwa and uh, Kishnagar as a study area subunits on which I'm just performing this analysis. And you can see that that's the final uh, uh, label panel that I'm just showing you that how I designed the label panel. And you can just simply uh, like use this code or you can also uh, if you want this code you can simply mail me or you can also uh, type this code as I fully explained this code over here in video you can just uh, pause my video and type this code in your uh, Google Earth engine or you can follow the same approach so it's very easy and it's totally based on NDVI you we used NDVI and uh, via this way we calculated uh, and we got our first load so here you can see that you can observe that how much forest is lost and you can sense that from the year 2005 to 2015 that range is like more uh, noticeable where we lost a huge amount of forest cover then in 2020 it's lesser but it indicating that it's 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 probably a result of uh, deforestation why that's why it's like lower in now for example if i'm going to perform this on two study areas for i'm here like going to take kishtwar and two study areas so i'm just going to paste here and here i'm just putting two commas to get this analysis or like two subunits i mean to say i filtered two uh, areas in my main shape file to get this analysis over here in pakistan so you can see so that's the region uh, of forest over here in Pakistan it's Kashmir so I'm just going to zoom when while it's being run So here you can see that the data is being loading now you can like uh, track how it's like uh, visually appealing and how it's telling us about deforestation and uh, how we can sense forest loss so uh, via this way you can track forest loss in your study area i hope that this tutorial was uh, helpful for you if you are new to my channel please subscribe and also share my channel with your community so uh, it will help me to bring some unique videos and something new for you guys